I don't have a script for this video. I'm just gonna freestyle it. But what the fuck has been going on, bro? Being a Blazers fan is just the worst. I I wake up one day, I think four or five days ago, I don't even remember at this point, to the news that we waived Trendon Wofford. For no reason. We just got rid of him. I don't get it. He was one of the most promising pieces of our young core for like the past two seasons. He did all the right things. Undrafted rookie, comes in, plays hard, fucking leads the team to a summer league championship, which isn't like the biggest deal in the world, but as a Blazers fan, a win is a fucking win. And that that was cool to watch. That was really cool to watch. He was fucking so cool. So cool looking, plays the game in a cool ass way. He's just a dope ass player. I would wave him for fucking nothing. I don't get it. I don't get it. He has he showed so much promise. The Magic just waved Bulbul, which is also surprising. Maybe the Blazers can pick him up. That'd be sick. Maybe we can get Trenton Wofford back, too. Hopefully. God, I fucking love Trenton Wofford, man. He was my favorite player. He played hard. Fucking played the right way. Grinded on defense. You know, there is still so much room for improvement, which is a good thing, because he could definitely do it. I was most excited about his Season 3 leap. I was more excited about Trenton's leap than Shaden's leap. Which is crazy to say, but like I'm just I've just been such a fan of this guy ever since we got him. And now he's gone. For nothing. We should have kept him. There's no way. And out of everybody that we could get rid of, we get rid of him when there's John Butler Jr. on the team. Some other fucking guys. Keon Johnson. Out of everybody, we wave Trenton Wofford. I don't get it. There must have been something else, man. There must have been something else that went into it. Because that's just not what you do. That doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. I just don't get it out of fucking all. Out of everybody, we fucking wave him. Keon Johnson's still on the team. He doesn't play. We have too much guards. John Butler? Man, what the fuck, bro? Oh, my God. Not just his defensive upside is a bummer that we don't have anymore, but his passing and playmaking was incredible. He had so much potential there, too. He was so smart. He played the game smart. He would throw the ball across the court, weak side corner, open three, fucking in a pick and roll at the elbow. He'd either, like, he'd just make the right pass, always, man. And when he wouldn't, you know he'd eventually be able to. This next year, whoever, whatever team gets him is going to be fucking lucky. Whatever team signs for New Wofford is going to have a fucking beast, and they don't even know it. Most slept on player, man. I love him. He was so good. He could finish in the paint, too. He'd get to his spots. He could hit an open three, man. Man, I miss him. Maybe we can sign Bobo. Maybe.